Giovanni Rubisi mm-hmm. and Juliette Lewis in this movie, they both go full Simple Jack. <laughs> I love Simple and Jack. And then they, then they point it at each other uh-huh. and they fall in love. And I guess people have a problem with it because it's able-bodied actors mm-hmm. portraying people with special needs. And I still think that's what acting is. So they should be able to do that. But just to keep it fair, maybe every time... <laughs> Every time we have an able-bodied actor portray a special needs person, uh-huh. we should also just have to uh, slip in a special needs actor portraying someone normal, <laughs> and nobody mentions it. Yeah, it's, and you don't know it's going to show up. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a treat? <laughs> in like dramatic moments, yeah. like an Armageddon, <laughs> they're like, "Mr. President, a giant asteroid is headed towards Earth." And they cut to the president, and he just goes, "Uh oh." <laughs> <laughs> and then it's fair. Yeah. So uh, Julia Lewis, she's challenged, and she comes back home to her rich parents. Uh, she's been away uh, for, I guess, her whole life at a school for special needs people, but now she's graduated. She's like in her twenties. I think at one point they say that no one visited her. Oh shit! And then she's like taking her clothes off over her head, and she's like, "We figured it would just be upsetting to see me." <laughs> She's like, I get it. I know. I'm a, I'm a bummer. <laughs> so she's back home and she has two beautiful sisters of average normal intelligence. Okay. Or normal for pretty women. <laughs> <laughs> Which is special needs for ugly, by the way. <laughs> And she's like, Ma, her mom is Diane Keaton. And she kind of runs the show. The dad is Tom Skirrett, I believe is his name. Skirrett. Skirrett's kind of, he's just a nice guy. Diane Keaton, she's the mom, but she's overprotecting. She's always squashing Juliet Lewis's goals. Her name's Carla. Okay. And so she's like, I'm out. I'm back from school, Mom. I want to be a veterinarian assistant. Oh. And the mom's like, yeah, I want to be an astronaut. (laughs) She runs away and leaves a note that says, I make everybody sad. (laughs) Dude. Oh and they're God. like, it's true, but don't say it. <laughs> and then she goes back to the school. She runs away to the school. Mm-hmm. And the guy at the school is like, you got to let her have her own life. It's the only way. And Diane Keaton's like, fine. So then she goes to community college. It's like a polytech college. And then after her first day, she comes outside and hanging out by the short bus is Giovanni Rubisi. So then they say hi. And he's like, uh, I want you to come with me to my favorite place to hang out, which is a Greyhound bus station. Oh, shit. And they're talking. And he says, my favorite thing in the world is marching bands. And I've gone on every bus to go visit, see marching bands. In fact, I work for a marching band. And she says, I always wanted a job. What's that pay? And he says, they don't pay me anything, but they let me keep the marshmallows that people throw into the tubas. What? <laughs> as, as a prank? I guess that's the thing. So that's their first date. And then she goes to his apartment and he, he's like, what's your favorite kind of music? And she says, I like Billie Holiday and jazz. And he's like, I like marching band music. <laughs> And then he puts that on. Oh, and then he says, at one point he says, will you be my girlfriend? And she says, let me think about it. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> okay, so then their next date is uh, the Halloween party at school. And she comes in dressed. They're like, honey, you're a duck. And she's like, I'm a swan. And then she's like, my boyfriend's coming over. Her parents are like, boyfriend. And he's at the door. And they're like, it's probably some genius who's <laughs> taking advantage of her. Uh-huh. And then he comes in in a full dog suit. <laughs> And they're like, okay, we're okay. <laughs> and then he starts barking. Oh, no. And Diane Keaton's like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> so then a third date. Oh, uh oh. And they're making out on the couch. <clears throat> and she's like, my body feels funny. Oh, no. And then he's like, yeah, I feel like we're supposed to do something more than kissing. Uh oh. And she's like, yeah, have you ever done that? And he's like, well, one time the older guys paid a girl with a bad reputation <laughs> oh, to man. give me kisses. Oh. And then she did other stuff. And then I finished in my pants. <laughs> and she goes, did you love her? And he goes, well, kind of. <laughs> if you come on a woman's leg through your pants, she always kind of has a place in your heart. <laughs> and she's like, okay. And he's like, but not like you. Not about how I feel towards you. And she says, really? And then he says, I love you more than band music <laughs> and cookie making. <laughs> 
Yeah. He makes cookies too. And then I think in the later scene, they're looking at a sex book. They're looking at the book, The Joy of Sex. And this is kind of sweet because they're both so innocent. Yeah. And she's like, I want to try page 84 or page 121, but don't even think about page <laughs> 73, you son of a gun. <laughs> And he's like, okay, let's do it. She's like, oh, but I want it to be special. And he goes, I'm feeling pretty special. <laughs> <laughs> I've never related to a character more in a movie because he's so sweet, but he's like, come on. <laughs> well, he's like, well, when can we do it? And she says, Thanksgiving, because Thanksgiving's special. Because you, <laughs> you get two desserts. He's like, lady, how special do we need to get? <laughs> Look at us. So then, so then we have then we have a montage as we wait for Thanksgiving. <laughs> They're riding bikes. Oh, I forgot about. It. There was a scene after their first date where he's like, "Bye, I had fun," and he goes to his bicycle and he takes the helmet off his bicycle and he goes, "Oh, they put gum in my hat again." <laughs> he calls his helmet his hat. <laughs> they put gum in my hat again. Well, I mean, he wear he should be wearing it all the time like a hat. Oops. Oh, so. maybe if it, with gum, it would stick. Yeah. <laughs> so they're like, dude, this is for your safety. <laughs> like, dude, we're looking out for you. <laughs> Don't take this off. <laughs> Keep this shit on. This is mom did it. Quit making cookies and wear your fucking hat. Yeah. So then she's at Thanksgiving and she's like, is it almost over? <laughs> I, got, I got stuff to do. <laughs> So then they're at one of their apartments and oh she oh it's so sweet she brings him a plate of thanksgiving because he doesn't have any and then he eats it and then he goes oh yeah remember what we said we were gonna do <laughs> like he'd forgotten and she's like okay and they kind of take their clothes off sheepishly and you're like should i be watching this yeah. and then they go in the room and he's like wait one second and then he runs out and he checks the joyous sex book real quick mm -hmm. like it's the manual <laughs> for a lady yeah. and then he runs back in and then he says, I'm going to put on music, and it's marching band music. <laughs> so then I guess the rest of the movie is just a series of weddings because... What? Because <laughs> well, she has two sisters. Oh, okay. First, the one sister gets married, and the groom is kind of charming, and he does like a little speech where he's like, when I first met her, she had hat hair. <laughs> oh. But then Cupid's arrow struck, and mm. she's made me the happiest man in the world. And then meanwhile, <laughs> Rubisi is getting drunk, <laughs> and he goes to this bartender dressed like Santa Claus, and he's like, <laughs> he's like, what color will get me the drunkest? And he's like, you want green? <laughs> And he says, it's, it's 110. He's like, this will make, give me courage. And he's like, this will give you courage. Uh -huh. And there's this thing that I don't know if only I find it funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> but every time he takes a drink, the bartender goes, Merry Christmas. Uh -huh. And Rubisi goes, yes, it is. <laughs> and then he sees that the one guy gave a speech. And he's gotten a phone call from his father saying he's not going to pay for him anymore. So he has to come back to Florida. He's distraught and he's drinking because he doesn't want to have to leave Carla. Mm -hmm. Juliet Lewis. Juliet. So they're like the band's playing, and then um, Rubisi gets up on stage and grabs the microphone, and oh. he's like, now I have a speech. Oh. He's like, I'm in love too, and she doesn't have uh, hat hair. <laughs> and everyone laughs at that. And he says, and she loves me so much that we did it on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh no. <laughs> and he says like, and I want her to live with me in Florida. And they're like, get this guy off stage. Mm -hmm. And then I think she storms out. Oh, and then everyone starts laughing at him. Oh. And she's like, stop laughing at him. And then she runs out. <laughs> so now they're estranged. Mm -hmm. And he's leaving town. Now it's time for the second wedding. The second sister is getting married. And now Rubisi's on the train telling some old guy about how The Graduate is his favorite movie. And he's like, the best part is at the end, he runs into a wedding and yells her name. Mm -hmm. And then he goes, oh. I should do the graduate. <laughs> I should pull a graduate. So then he r runs off the train. Uh -huh. And I think they actually play Mrs. Robinson. Oh, nice. You know, it's a rich family. So it's a big church and everyone looks nice. And then all of a sudden people start noticing they're getting hit in the head with, because uh, they wouldn't let them in. So people start noticing they're getting hit in the head with little marshmallows. It was marshmallows. It was little marshmallows. Hell yeah. That he had saved up from his tuba cleaning. <laughs> He's like, psst, psst. <laughs> And she's like, yeah, we can all see you. He goes, meet me outside. <laughs> and then he just falls off the balcony. Oh. And then I think he just, but she, now she's back in her life. She's like, I love, who am I kidding? I love this guy. And she tells her mom, like, I want to be the third marriage. So now the third wedding. And here's my favorite part of the movie okay. is there's a montage of the mom's not invited because she's against it. Uh -huh. But everyone else gets a wedding invitation. And their wedding invitation is a picture of a puppy. And it says party time. <laughs> The past was doing its best. <laughs>
<laughs> That's the theme song. Leave them alone. <laughs> Leave them alone. <laughs> Leave them alone. They were doing their best. 